Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 12 Let's Play where last time we left off with an upgrading Dark Elixir storage. We also left off without a base design, so I actually snagged this off of a clanmate. I think I got it from Jesper. So uh, guys, if you want a base design, you can copy this one. Um, if I remember right, I'll, I'll throw down a link in the description or you can just stick, take a snapshot. Everything's there and you can build it on your own. But the new Inferno Tower is going in the middle. It's going right there. We got a little bit of time for it to be done. The laboratory, which still has two days to go, is way over here on the left. And then the lovely Siege Workshop will be done in three days and it will be right here on the right. So exciting stuff, guys. Now, once again, I told you guys at the beginning of the episode, we left off last time with an upgrading dark elixir storage so what does that mean well that means that it's done now and that means that i can finally use my dark elixir rune also heads up i've also got an elixir rune and a gold rune so some stuff is going to go down soon i've also got a book of heroes that's always useful we got a book of fighting we got a book of building hello so lots of um lots of great stuff to be upgraded today so question Eagle Artillery. Can I upgrade that today? 9.6 million gold. I don't have quite enough. I need 4 million gold for that to happen. We'll see. We'll see. Let's do some raids. All right. I don't want to jump ahead of this of myself. Also, I'm going to need 160, uh, 163,200 Dark Elixir to upgrade the Queen again. So we're on not quite there. So I need to get some raids in. So we've still got the Queen Walk of Abebo because I just absolutely love it. It's a very, very strong strategy. And you know what we should do today? Let's boost the heroes. Why not, right? Let's go ahead and boost the heroes. And let's also use, I don't do this very often either, but let's also use a training potion so that we make sure we have our heroes for the next raid after that. Yes, guys, we're splurging today as I'm super stoked about being able to use a Dark Elixir room. It's the most fun thing you can do in the game. Uh, besides maybe... No, Dark Elixir runes are pretty much the best. <laughs> Except for, you know, if you get like a gem box, that's awesome. But it's it's only 25 gems. It's nothing compared to 240,000 free Dark Elixir. Like, that's kind of a big deal. And that is a big deal. Holy cannoli. Guys, that is a dead town all 12. Look at that loot. Oh, my goodness. All right, so here's what we need to do here. We need to make sure... That we get a good lay on this base to where we're not getting uh, blown around by sweepers. That's the main thing right now. So I'm thinking... I don't know what I'm... Th I'm not thinking much of anything. I've got a wall breaker set, so I can probably wall break pretty well. And let's go! Let's start from the very top. I'm going to uh, start this off. I'm going to get one, two, three, four. Break in, break in. Yes! All right, so now the queen can get that air defense quick. Nice and quick-like. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to drop a rage spell, and I'm going to drop one, and then two. I want to break this queen in as well, so now she can make it all the way down to the bottom. Very nice. And then which way queen are you going to go? Obviously, it's better if she goes left because of the sweeper if that's on the right. So let's just wait and see, because, you know, queen can do crazy things. She really can. Um, man, I'm loving that purple, the purple number right there. It's awesome. All right, so it looks like the queen is going to go to the left. So here's what we're going to do here. We are going to send our giants, okay? Giants, you okay? Let's actually, let's rage this queen real quick. All right, and let's go wall record to help them out. Let's drop a balloon for the seeking air mine problem. Probably not any because it's a dead base, but you never know. Okay, and everything's in. Let's drop this king. And let's drop these Valkyries and these Bowlers. And then finally, guys, the Warden. All right, everybody's in. Poison, Rage, and Heal. We do need to freeze, though, because this is an active Town Hall 12. And I've got one more Rage spell. Pop that Warden's ability, keeping them alive through that Town Hall. There you go. And it's going to explode, and the troops going to stay alive. This is perfect, guys. This is perfect. Let's get a Rage. And do I need to freeze anywhere? I really don't. This strat, this base is dropping so fast. It's amazing. I've got a freeze. You know, I'm going to hold on to the freeze in case like a freeze spell jumps and grabs onto my healers or something. I want to make sure that I'm well prepared and equipped for that. So these bowlers are working their way around the edge. I've still got some uh, wizards too I need to deploy. I guess I can deploy, I don't know. I want that king to get ahead first. All right, so the king is going to get ahead and then I'm going to put the wizards down because there's really nothing else. Uh, there's really nothing else over here. So, let's go one, two, just like so. Very nice. Get an archer over here, too. And then I've still got the free spell. Looks like the, um, the air defense is going to get nowhere near the queen. This is an overkill, guys. This is an absolute overkill. And don't forget what the loot was worth. 
we got, it was like over 600,000 Golden Elixir and over 7,000 Dark Elixir. Like, this was the real deal. This is going to be amazing. Let's pop that Queen's ability. Let's get that three star. Come on. Dead Town Hall 12. Oh, I love it, guys. I absolutely love it. Give me that loot. There we go. And then with that loot bonus, it's even better. I love Titan League. So there we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. That was awesome. Okay, so what is that? That is seven, eight, nine hundred and forty, roughly, thousand gold? Nine hundred and forty thousand gold. That's insane. And then over nine hundred and fifty thousand elixir. Oh, yes. And then, drum roll, please. 9,500 Dark Elixir. Actually, more than 9,600. That, my friends, was the what's up. Okay? That was the what's up. I gotta love that. And then a star bonus. Oh, baby, we're rich. We are just filthy, stinking rich. All right, so my treasury is absolutely full. Um, but I've already gotten to a point to where I have a lot of Dark Elixir. I've got too much Dark Elixir. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to actually start the next... Um, I'm going to start the next army just to spend a little bit of Dark Elixir. I'm going to request some troops, and then we are going to upgrade this queen. And I know I'm probably about to waste the uh, the boost and everything on her, but that's okay. So, five days, 14 hours, 163,000 Dark Elixir. Let's go. Level 53, uh, 52 queen in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Yes, I'll end the boost. And then I've got the Book of Heroes. Let's go ahead and use this Book of Heroes on our guys. Wake her up immediately. Immediately. In three, two, one. Bam. What's up, Queen? How you doing? It's good to have you back. You look good, Valkyrie Queen. Actually, why am I using the Valkyrie Queen when I have the Autumn Queen? The Autumn Queen is so much better. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got the Autumn Queen. That's awesome. So... Now, guys, I've got, like, no Dark Elixir. So what I can do is I can either wait or go ahead and use the rune. I'm just kidding. We're going to use the rune. Let's use the rune right now because I don't want to, um, let's go ahead and just use this free 283, no, 238,907 Dark Elixir. That was a Lizdexic moment right there. So let's go in three, two, one, bam. Yes, free loot. I love it. Now, I don't have another book of heroes. I don't have enough medals to afford. Uh, uh, wait. Be cool if there was one there. Nope, there's not. Okay, so we are um, going to have to upgrade the king, actually, because I have currently, and I didn't plan ahead, I have a queen walk army. So if I upgrade the queen, I pretty much am screwed. Thank you guys for the troops. Sir Chella Pup, thank you for the wall wrecker. So let's upgrade this king. I can live without the king. Plus, I don't want the queen and king to get too uneven. So let's go ahead and upgrade this king, guys. Level 51. Five day, 14 hour upgrade in three, two, one, bam. And I yes, I'll end the boost. That's fine. Awesome. And ooh, I just noticed that the purple actually survived. The purple, which gives me a plus five, actually survived through the upgrade too. But the boost ended, but the plus five didn't. That's awesome. That's awesome. So there we go. King is now upgraded. That is amazing. And um, all of our builders are now, man, I didn't plan ahead. Ah. Okay, maybe I can use that book of building. This is the longest time to upgrade right here. Book of Building. Let's just use the Book of Building at the end. Let's let's do another attack. Oh my goodness, I got so many good things to do. Let's go do a raid. I've got my CC troops, so thank you so much to my clan mates. Let's get some loot, and let's just dominate another base. And then, again, I've got a gold rune I could use, maybe. I've got an elixir rune I could use, and i got a Book of Building. I think I need to use it, because I think I've got another one coming up. So, yeah, so many things to consider. Right now, though, I want some trophies. And that's a decent amount of Dark Elixir if I can get my hands on it. That's a, Actually, that's a pretty tough base. If I wanted to get that Dark Elixir, that's like the last thing. Oh, and Single Targeting Inferno. Single. Here's the thing. If you're using a Queen Walk, Single Targeting Infernos are the worst. But if you're using anything else, like just a Spam Bow Witch or Spam E-Drag or Spam Hogs or whatever it is that you're spamming, then, mult, uh, then Single Targeting Infernos is no problem at all. So, uh, you know, you just got to pick your battles and it, and also look at your defenses, too. Like if you are taking many, many defenses, three stars with Queen Walks, then maybe you should pop up a single Inferno. That's what I do. And uh, my defenses seem to improve over time. And here we go. Awesome. OK, so now we have found a Town Hall 12 with a lot of loot overall and it has multi targeting Infernos. Awesome. OK, so Queen, it's all up to you, babe, because I don't have I don't have a king to help you out. It's all about the queen right now. 
So I get a couple of balloons, soaking up some Seeking Air Mines. I actually would like to, um... I'd like to break the Queen in into this group, because there is an air defense. So that, that'll work out, I think. Get that giant. Let's get... Why, Queen? Why? Why are you going in the wrong direction? I'm sending in the giants. You know what? I'm going to send in the wall wrecker. Oh, I'm stupid. No. Don't. Queen, turn around. Queen, turn around. <laughs> no. Why, Queen? Why? Okay. Um. Queen went the wrong direction. I lost all of her healers, so she is totally roasted right now, dudes. Totally, totally roasted. I'm just going to send everybody in right now. Let's drop a rage. Let's drop a heal. I'm gonna get my warden in there. Let's drop another rage so that the bowlers go around. Go around, uh, bowlers. Without that king's ability. Everybody's going the wrong direction. What in the world happened? Oh, the healer switched. Okay, that's what happened. For some reason, I thought I lost my healers. But the facts are, I actually just lost them to another troop. That's way better than, like, losing them to, like, an air defense or whatever. So, let's, um, please, bowlers, get the dark elixir. Please, bowlers, get the dark elixir. At least get the dark elixir, guys. Come on. No one's listening to me right now. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on, bowlers. Come on, bowlers. No, they got like one shot. Okay, fail. Fail. You can have the best troops and you can have the best intentions and still stuff goes down the toilet sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. Like I said, I'm kind of... um. Like I said in the last episode, like I'm, a, I'm kind of rusty with the strategy. I'm getting better at it, but that did not. That was definitely, I, I panicked, okay? The queen started going the wrong direction. She she started going off to the left, right? And then I sent everything in. I shouldn't have done that. I should have, you know what I should have done? I should have waited, dropped the wall wrecker in front of the queen, you know, in, into that uh, corner on the, on the far left, and then dove her into the core still. She was taking some damage to her air defenses, but I probably could have handled that with a couple of Valkyries or something. I don't know. I don't know. Bad, bad decision making on my end. But that's okay. Because um, we're back to our base. And um, we've got no builders anyway. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to bounce into my progress base. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm going to use a book of building. And that's going to go onto my clan castle. Because... I need to use it, I think, and it's the seven-day upgrade. I just don't want to wait another seven days, okay? So let's use this book of building right here, right now. Three, two, one, bam. I love how that looks, dude. Oh, man, there is an, there, there are a few buildings in the game that look better than a Max Klein castle. I think that looks so awesome. So that's awesome. Now I've got a builder. So let's bounce back over here. Let's look at what we've got. Um, I've got a bunch of loot in the treasury. I should probably collect that, actually. Let's go ahead and collect all that, and bam! Oh, we're at 9 million gold. That's a lot of gold. I needed 9.6, though, I think, for the uh, Eagle Artillery. So, mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so what are we going to do here, guys? I still need 600,000 gold. I can't afford. I don't know. All right, so here's what would be the best thing. The best thing would be to start upgrading the army camps, but I don't have enough elixir for that. I would like to use an elixir rune. But I would need to first upgrade the storages. So honestly, the most responsible thing I can do is upgrade storages. But <laughs> I really, really, really want to upgrade this town hall. Because the faster you get the Giga Tesla, the better. All right. So let's see. How, how long is this going to take? A day and 14 hours. Oh, my goodness. That's so fast. That's so fast. Cool. So I'll have two builders pretty much this time in two days. So, um, that's 4.8 million, so that means that I've got 4 million gold left over. Let's upgrade a wall. It is less than 4 million. Okay, let's upgrade a wall, guys, in 3, 2, 1. Bam. There we go. And then let's upgrade this town hall, since I can afford it. And, yes, let's do this. Bam. Yes. All right, and what other magical buildings do I, or, or magical items do I have? I really don't have anything else. I really don't have anything else. Bummer, but it is what it is. I'm holding on to elixir because I've got a ton of elixir progress pro, uh, projects that I need to do, like the uh, mostly the army camps, the siege workshops going to be needing to be upgraded too, and the gold storages too. So lots of elixir demand needed pretty soon. Plus, obviously, we've got to upgrade this grand warden twenty times. So so many things need to be done uh, need to be done, guys. But at least we got the the queen upgraded, and 
um, and booked up to level 50, 52. It says 57, but I've got that plus 5. And then the king also has um, an upgrade going to 5 days and 13 hours. So that was absolutely awesome, guys. So now it is time for today's comment question of the day. All right, so today's comment question of the day comes from Gautham S. Gautham S. G-O-W-T-H-A-M. So the question is, what is your favorite time to attack? And that's a great question because I feel like there's a lot of people who are out there and they're trying to find the advantage. It's like, okay, I can raid whenever, and let's assume that you can. What time of day is the best? And I can tell you that the worst time of day to attack is in the mornings. And that's in uh, the American time zone, okay? Because in the mornings, and I know this from my my YouTube um, statistics and analytics, that between like 8 a.m. and and like noon, like noon, so that four-hour block of time is when I get the most views. So what that means is that that's also when everybody else is online. And, and think about that, right? In the morning in the United States, it's afternoon in Europe and it's evening in Asia, right? But in America, if it's evening, then it's super, super early morning in Asia. People are still asleep. And Asia's got a lot of people. So you want to log in and attack when nobody's online. So if it were me, I would say probably the best time to get on an attack is when Asia is going to sleep, which would be in the United States early afternoon, probably 1 p.m. And of course, I'm in Texas, so central time, um, 1 p.m. till till whenever because after 1 p.m then you know asia is going to sleep and then the middle east is going to sleep and then europe is going to sleep and as those happen those people are logging off and their accounts are available for being raided but the the question wasn't when is the best time to attack the question is when do i like to attack and i like to attack kind of all day every day just whenever i have time um, I always wake up first thing in the morning get some coffee do some raids and then um you know start getting ready for some recording um, I'll do an attack. I'll do, I'll eat lunch and watch TV for a minute, rest and relax, and then get on here and record. And then obviously like over dinner, after I finish eating dinner, you know, for watching TV or whatever, I'll pull out my iPad and do a few attacks. And I, I pretty much am online throughout the day, every day. But if you're looking for the best time to attack, consider what I said earlier today. So Gotham, thank you so much for the question. That was awesome. If you have any questions you'd like for me to answer in the future, please post them down below in the comments section. Also like the video if you liked it and hit that subscribe button down below in the uh, subscribe section if you haven't done so already for daily Clash of Clans gaming videos and to join the Klaus family. And remember guys, that I love each and every one of you and I will see you all again next time.